Minister, you're very welcome into the chair. I'm glad to see this motion before the House this evening, and it's one that I'm very happy to support. You, you'll have to have been living under a rock these last past few years to not see the rise in e-cigarettes. Uh, there really is just a ridiculous number of them on the, our streets. My main concern, I think it is one that is shared by many, is when it comes to children. We can advertise the health risks of nicotine use to adults, and we should do so, so that people can make informed decisions. But when it comes to children, it really is a different story. Habitual nicotine use has been seen to harm adolescent brain development, which continues in the early to mid-20s. So holding off until you're 18 is good, but often not good enough. The strength of so many of these e-cigarettes is shocking. I know that the biggest brand of the disposable ones in the US, J-U-U-L, one of them has as much nicotine as a full 20-pack of smokes, and some kids will go through one or more of those a day. So they all look very sleek and trendy, but when you have a 15 or 16 year old essentially smoking 20 a day, something's going seriously wrong. A line you might hear is, oh, but not all vapes have nicotine in them, some are just flavour. While this is technically true, a CDC study found that 99% of the e-cigarettes sold in the USA contain nicotine, so the odds are very much that any given vape is a nicotine vape. Using nicotine in adolescence can harm the parts of the brain that control attention, learning, mood and impulse control. Each time a new memory is created or a new skill is learned, stronger connections or synapses are built between brain cells. Young people's brains build synapses faster than adults' brains, but nicotine actually changes the way these synapses are formed. Internationally, we are seeing that many young people may turn to vaping to try to deal with stresses or anxiety, creating a, style or a cycle of nicotine dependence. But nicotine addiction can be, source, uh, can be a, a source of stress, and what may start as a social experimentation can become an addiction. One study, again in the US, where they've been looking into this stuff more than we have, found that the common reason students give uh, for trying an e-cigarette is a friend used them. What was the most common reason given for continued to use them? I'm feeling anxious, stressed or depressed. This is textbook substance abuse and has become increasingly normalised over the past three years. We have young people turning to addictive substances as a distraction or an escape from emotions that they have not been able to equip themselves to deal with and that breaks my heart. The manufacturers and marketeers of these products know exactly what they are doing, flavouring these high strength nicotine vapes after sweets, fruits and desserts and fizzy drinks. Kids are using uh, these to try out the flavours and that is something that you don't get with ordinary cigarettes. E-cigarettes are advertised using the same themes and tactics that have been shown to increase youth initiation of other tobacco products in other countries and indeed in this one prior to legislative bans which prohibited such. So I support the provisions of this motion and hope that the government will take all of this on board because this really is something that needs to be nipped to the bud. We don't want a whole generation of Irish hooked on these things uh, so to become so when they didn't have the defences against it that, will, that will, would have when they're adults. Thank you.